Hi YouTube, this is Gabby with Enders Analytics again, and this week I am going to do a tutorial on how to set up targets within um, Adobe uh, Reports and Analytics, uh, formerly known as Site Catalyst. So uh, first of all, let's just kind of go and show you where to find the targets uh, for setting up. So you go under your favorites uh, in the menu, and then from favorites you go under targets, and then you can manage targets here. Okay, and you can see here this is the Manage Targets um, page. And this is basically if you don't have any targets set up, you know, this Manage Targets is all that's going to show up. And then, of course, under here it'll be a list of all your targets. And currently, all I have right here are my page views per visit. Um, and then there's some shared targets here that were shared. Uh, there well, was one here that was shared with me by someone else within um, the organization. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to create an Add New to go ahead and add a new target. Okay, and for those of you who are wondering what targets are, targets are, um, they're a way of establishing book um, benchmarks um, so that you can kind of gauge how your site is doing compared to your business goals. So um, targets should be tied directly into your business goals. And um, so if you have you know, specific KPIs, um, specific things like you want to grow your revenue um, by 5% quarter over quarter, that kind of thing, um, that's where um, setting up a target for that so that you can see not only that is your revenue going up, but is your revenue going up uh, and meeting your target goals. Um, so, for example, let's say I have a business goal where I want to increase um, traffic um, from my website. I need to have more eyeballs uh, looking at my content. Uh, let's say that's one of my one of my goals that I want to have for the site. So let me go ahead and just call it target name increase visits. Okay, and then you can um, scope wise you can apply it either to your entire site or um, you can apply it to, and there's a whole bunch of different things. You have beacons, you have um, things you know related to your browsers, um, color depths, um, that kind of thing, um, etc. And I'm just going to apply it to the whole site. And then you can look at which metrics uh, that you want to tie to it. And in this particular case, I believe I'm going to do visits. Okay, so I want to see a quarter over quarter uh, increase of visits. That's my goal. Um, and so here, and then you have granularity here. Uh, let's go ahead and start with um, the start and end dates. So let's say I'm going to start this looking at it as of September 1st. Um, actually, no, let's go ahead and let's go back. Let's go back to January. So January 1st, and you want to look at it through. December. So here we go, December 31st. Okay, and I want to look at it quarterly. And let's say I am looking at, um, let's say, a 5% increase in traffic. So let's say, just out of uh, grins and giggles, that I started with 500 um, v visits per month. And I, I'm I'm just going off the top of my head. I'm not sure if, if I was making it that much as well as much or not. But let's say I wanted to see a five percent increase on the next quarter. So that means I should be getting about five twenty five visits um, for that quarter. Oh, and I'm sorry. Um, my my math is off. Five hundred visits a month. So that would be fifteen hundred. Okay, and then. That means I would want to actually have 1575 for the next quarter. And that means I need to have about 1654 for the next quarter. And finally, I would need about 1736 for the final quarter. So if I'm increasing by 5% a, uh, a quarter, um, and I'm getting about 500 views a month, at the beginning of the year, um, 
and then you know just kind of like 500 you know for the quarter so 500 uh, for each month for the quarter would be 1500 views for the full for, for the full quarter so then by the next quarter I would want to see uh, by the end of that I would want to see 1575 views etc because it's each, each one is like five percent increase um, over the previous one previous quarter so that's my goal that's what I want to see so we click OK okay and then we can go ahead and we can take a look at that report and you know how are we uh, how are we running with that? Okay, so right now we're looking at the current quarter, and obviously we, well, it's the current quarter, so we haven't met that goal yet at all, but that's just looking at August. So let's go ahead and change this to the full year. And now we can see quarter over quarter how I'm actually doing uh, with my targets. And we can see that for my first quarter, my target goal um, of having 500 uh, views per month for that quarter, um, I didn't quite make it. Now, I actually got a little closer with um, Q2, and Q3 is obviously not done yet. So one of the nice things you can see here with um, with the targets, one is you can actually look at historical data um, and it can pull in. So this is what my target was and this is what the actual data was. So you can actually see how your site has performed in the past, but then you can also set it up for the future. So let's say I set set a target up for 2015 and you know and, and you can actually do it for for more than just like I only have it for one year. I can actually have uh, set up the dates for from January of this year through December of 2015 and just looked at two years and just kind of look at some of the historical data and see what I can do to increase um, you know these percentages and stuff over time so that maybe I get closer to hitting the goal you know by the end of next year if not by the end of this year so anyway that's basically how you set up your targets is you know and let's go ahead and go back into the manage targets again and we'll go ahead and to edit you just click on the little pencil way over here on the right and we'll just kind of review this real quick so you have a name uh, you have uh, what you can um, apply it to and there's a whole number of things here and then you can select the item etc um, I typically do the entire site um, th there are business reasons for, for selecting um, specific things like cookies or countries and that kind of thing but it's all based on what your particular goals are for your site for my goal the entire site is appropriate um, and then of course make sure you select your metric uh, select your date range, select your granularity, and then select uh, and put in the values um, that reflect what your goals actually are, what your target goals are. And then you can take a look, you know, both historically as well as, you know, keep an eye on it in the future. Alrighty. And we'll click OK on that. And uh, that is everything in terms of managing, uh, you know, creating and managing a target. So if you have any questions relating to targets, please let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer questions. And uh, please uh, also let me know if you have any specific uh, tutorials you would like me to focus on. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing whatever um, I happened to fancy that week. Um, thank you for joining me. If you find these useful, please um, like my videos, please um, share them, and please subscribe. Uh, the, 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 the wider range of an audience I can get, um, you know, I think the better for the community in, in general. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.